Welcome back to the Math Party, my Math Party people. Anderson here, your math coach, and I've said math three times at this point. So in this video, what we're gonna be talking about, my party people, we're gonna be going over how to take the percent of a number. So how to actually compute and calculate with percents. And so remember, if you're in the course, you're gonna have this guided practice video, and after that, you're gonna have the worksheets and speed drills, that way you can perfect your confidence and your speed and timing. So we're doing this now, and coming up in future videos, coming up next, afterwards we're gonna go ahead and have how to work backwards and find the original number, how to work backwards and find the actual percent, how to go ahead and do all these different things here. So remember, this is part of a larger idea that we need to make sure we know how to do, going forward, backwards, and everything else. So let's go ahead and learn here how to take a percent of a number. Here we're asking for 11% of 144. So here's the thing, my math party people, the way that you wanna read uh, really solving or, or finding percents it's really like this. So basically, the percent times the original number, so over here, the percent times the original number equals the result, okay? So the percent times the original number equals the result. And so if you look at this here, percent of original, 11% of 144 is equals what? And that's the result. So you can always tell whether you're looking for the original number, looking for the result, if you need to multiply, need to divide, you can always see it in that way. In this video, all we're gonna be doing is multiplying because we're only gonna be finding the result. But again, in future videos, this is gonna be very, 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 very important. So with that said, let's fill in the details here. So we see that again, we have 11%, so that's right there, that's the 11% of, meaning multiply, and then we have over here 144, which is the original number, equals, right over here, is equals, and then what? And so here we can say that's, you know, the result. So if you notice, again, this is very, very, very intuitive when you read it in English. 11% of 144 is what? Let's go ahead and calculate now, remembering that, look, whenever you're calculating with a percent, you got to turn it into a decimal. That's what you have to do. So this will turn into, again, all of this would turn into 0 0.11 because you're turning 11% to a decimal. And what you need to do as a reminder from the previous videos is just move that decimal place to the left two times, 0 0.11. So what you end up having is 0 0.11 times 144 equals what? That's really it. And so what we'll do, my math party people, is we're simply going to go ahead and calculate 0 0.11 times 144 and we are set. That's it. So here we go. Let's go ahead and take care of it right here. 144 times 0 0.11. And so when we're multiplying by a decimal, remember guys, we've done this before, ignore the decimal, perform the calculation, and then bring that decimal back at the end. So here we go. Four times one is four, four times one is four, one times one is one. Great, that's easy. Next up with the other one, the tens place now. Four times one is four, four times one is four, one times one is one. Look at that, pretty straightforward, pretty easy, right? And so from there, four, eight, five, and one. And remember, we need to bring all those decimals back. It's just two decimal places, two decimal places. So the answer is 15.84. And that is it right here. It's just rounded, but there it is, 15.8. It's rounded but there it is. So my math party people, again, to calculate the percent of a number, you're gonna multiply the percent by the original number to get the result right up here. The percent times the original equals the result. And so let's just learn how to read it here. Look, what is, okay, so blank is equals 74% so again, if we turn that into a decimal, that'll be 0 0.74 of, right over here, times 45.7, 45.7, just like that. So notice, you know that you're supposed to be multiplying if you translate this into math. 74% of 45.7. That means you're multiplying the percent by the 45.7. Sweet, sounds good. We turned it into a decimal. Let's go ahead and calculate. And it's me again, your coach Anderson. Look, 
you're doing these problems right here on YouTube, but I want you to join me for a live class that's free once a week. I do this because I want to help other people succeed just like you. So if you want to raise your score, sign up for my free classes once a week. They're hosted on Zoom. And on top of that, you'll get my free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every mistake. So there's no reason not to sign up. So go ahead, get off your butt, sign up here, the link there, somewhere over here, figure it out, but sign up and I'll see you in the next class, my ASVAB party people. Let's get back to the problem. So with that said, here we go. 45.7 times 0 0.74. Again, when you're multiplying by decimals, ignore the decimal. Don't worry about it at all. Don't worry about it. Just bring those decimals back at the end. And if you want to take note of that before you do it, one, two, three. So three decimals. Sweet. So let's go ahead and calculate, bring those decimals back and we have our answer. So seven times four, let me actually just get rid of that right over here and this over here. Okay. So what we have going on is again, seven times four, that's gonna be 28, carry the two. Five times four is 20, carry the two, 22. Four times four is 16, carry the two, 18. All right, so up next, we're gonna go ahead and take care of the tens place, the seven. So seven times seven is 49, carry the four. Five times seven is 35, carry the four, that's 39. Then four times seven is 28, Carry the three is 31. Boom, add these back together now. So you're gonna have yourself eight, 11, carry the one. Nine plus nine is 18, carry the one. Three and three. And remember we have three decimal places to bring back. So we're gonna go ahead and say one, two, three. So we have 33.818. And so, boom, 33.818. That's gonna round off to 33.8. And we are good. So my mad part of people, I really hope you're seeing all of this and you're saying, hey, this is actually very possible, very doable, and it should feel that way. Because it is. It absolutely is. So remember, when we're taking the percent of a number, you're just going to multiply the percent times that number to find the result. If you already have the result and you're working backwards, you got to divide. And I'm going to show you that in the upcoming videos. But right now, we're just focusing on working forward, finding the percent of a number. So let's go ahead and take a look at here, 94% of 107. So 94% of 107 is what? Okay, so just translate it here. 94%, so 0 0.94. Again, turn that percent into a decimal. Of means multiply. 107, just write that out. Is equals, and then we have over here, what? So what's the result? What is the result? The percent times the original number is the result. Let's go ahead and figure this out now, my math party people. Let's go ahead and just figure out what 107 multiplied by 0 0.94 is. And if you are familiar with percentages, you might be able to tell what the answer is, but we're here to learn how to calculate this and go through the whole process. So either way, let's go ahead and work on it. So 107 times 0.94. Seven times four, that's gonna be 28. Zero times four is zero, carry that two. Then one times four is four. Bring that zero down and let's work on that nine now. Seven times nine is gonna be 63. So let's get rid of that two and put the six. Then zero times nine is zero, carry the six. Then one times nine is nine. So with that seven math party people, eight plus zero is eight. Two plus three is five. Four plus six is 10, carry the one. And then we have 10 right there. How many decimal places are we moving back? One, two one, two. So the answer is 100.58. Or if we round 100.6. Where's our answer? You see it. It's right there. And we're good. And so again, my math party people, again, taking the percent of a number, turn that percent into a decimal, multiply by the original number to get the result. That's it. And I'm going to show you how to move forward, how to move backwards. And again, in all of these different senses, but let's go ahead and go through a few more examples here. So over here, what is 28% of 104? And in the next example, I'll try to find one that has just a single digit percent. That way I can show you again, how to do it whichever way. So what is 28% of 104? So what, question mark, is equals 28%, so 0 0.28 of times 104. What is, so what equals 28% of 104? Let's multiply and we're good. 
So right over here, nice and easy. Four times eight, that's gonna be 32, carry the three. Zero times eight is zero, carry the three is three. One times eight is eight. Next up, place that zero there. Four times two is eight. Zero times two is zero. One times two is two. From here, we add it all together. So that's gonna be two, 11, nine, and two. And we moved over two decimal places. So bring two back, 29.12 is the answer, or rounded to 29.1. And guess where the answer is? There it is, it's C. So notice that with the calculation, I'm going pretty fast. It's the setup that I really care about the most because we've already done uh, problems, especially in the decimal uh, section on how to multiply with decimals, how to divide with decimals, all that stuff. We've already gone over this. I expect you to be confident with that, but with the, uh, percentages, I'm gonna skip over or go faster to the parts that I expect you to know. So let's go ahead and find a single digit one so I can make sure that you're not getting or feeling too safe about this. Let's look at 2% of 44. So my math part of people, checking out 2% of 44. What you're gonna do here is, well, the same idea, everybody. You see that it says what, so question mark, is equals 2%. So remember, 2% to turn it into a decimal, same as everything else. Move the decimal over two times to the left. So that's gonna be 0 0.02 of times 44. And there you go. So now all you have to do is calculate and we are good. Now I wanna show you a little shortcut here, my math party people, because if you look at this, remember how I tell you when it comes to multiplying decimals, Ignore that decimal, right? Bring it back at the end. So if you look at this, you could probably do this in your head. What's two times 44? Oh, that's 88. And before we continue, my math party people, really quick before we continue, I know that you're enjoying this video and I wanna make sure that more people can enjoy these videos just like you. So if you wouldn't mind, just take a quick second, like this video, comment on it, just showing some appreciation, showing what you learned, and then make sure you're subscribed to the channel so that way when we come out with new videos, typically every day, you can be right there on the spot to catch on to them. So help us help others ace the ASVAB. I'm Anderson, let's keep going here. That's 88, and we have two decimal places right there. One, two, so 0 0.88, that would be it, and we're set. So again, if you wanna start mixing in mental math, you absolutely can. It's gonna give you a very, very easy time when getting this done. But with that said, my math party people, that's what we've got going on in this video, showing you how to find the percent of a number. Coming up, I'm gonna show you how to work backwards and say, hey, if you take the percent of some number and you get this as the result, what's the original? So working backwards. And then I'm also gonna give you the original number and the result, and I'm gonna ask you what the percent is. And so get ready for those two videos coming up next, but before then, remember to get into those worksheets, remember to get into those speed drills, that way you can really raise that confidence and speed and then move forward the right way. With that seven math party people, let's go ahead and move forward, let's have fun, and I'll see you in the next video. And so we both know this video just helped you with your test anxiety by just a little bit. And to keep lowering your test anxiety and keep raising your confidence, that's what my ASVAB All Access program is for. The link's right up here. Click it, watch the video on how it works, and you'll see exactly why thousands of my students have raised their scores and gotten the jobs they want. So click there, watch the video, and sign up to raise your score. I'll see you soon.